Savage. What's cracking? It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you another message. Oh, wow. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I had to adjust my seat so I could sit up a little higher. What's up, everybody? It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage, back to bring you another message. If you do me a favor, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all of my uploads are uploaded. You feel me? Okay. Okay. We good? We good. So, um, I was in bed trying to get some sleep. It's 10.55 a.m. Maybe something's going to happen at 10.55 a.m. It's 10.55 p.m. on January 9th, 2024. 26 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy. Way past my bedtime, by the way. Shut up. Okay. Let's give some thanks to my dad, the Most High, for bringing us here. Oh, wow. I've been getting a lot of Shavi, Shavi Zane. Um, oh, my God. That 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 message she dropped. I'm going to post that in my... Uh, I'm going to repost that. I'm, matter of fact, let me do that now. Okay? Because that was one hell of a message. You feel me? Um, I need for everybody um, to go check that out. When I post it, it was fucking mind blowing. Okay. Yes. Hold on. I'm doing it now. Hold on. There we go. Hold on, y'all. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. It was so mind blowing. This hot shit. Go check it out. I'm sorry, I know. But you guys know how I do. I just had to do that real quick. You know, I believe in giving credit where credit is due. And 211 on the clock. What's up, Brandy and Nippy? 212 on the clock. Is that New York? I think so. In any given event, Grand motherfucking evening. Thank you, Dad, for giving me these messages today. Bam, 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 bam. Confirmation. Got confirmation. confirmation. I'm a little silly when I get sleepy. I got coffee going. I probably shouldn't even be drinking that shit. But I'll be right back because I'm about to grab my cup of coffee. All right, so I'm back. Um, yeah, I just want to get right into this. But thank you, everybody, for supporting me. Thank you for your cash apps, your financial contributions, your spiritual contributions to this channel and my movement, the You Grow, I Grow, I Grow, You Grow movement, and about awake, about waking up, about us uh, ascending together, about us uh, finding our own way in this world. Um, yeah, without doctrines, with, with, being, with being able to walk together, although we may have different beliefs, but we all have one goal, and that is to ascend, to wake, to wake up the world so that we can live in this, uh, this Christ consciousness, this unconditional agape style love, where there is no hatred, where there's no backstabbing, no lying, um, no violence, you know, no unnecessary kind of bullshit. So I'm going to write something down here. Uh, because a while ago, see, I pay attention to the signs of synchronicity. I don't miss a beat. You feel me? I really don't. Well, I'll put it like this. Um, I don't pick up on like subtle things right away. I don't. It takes a minute. It like I don't know. So, I mean, I, I follow breadcrumbs, but those are those are things that are like I follow like things that are logic are logical, illogically logical. You feel me? So like things that don't make sense, I pay close attention to that. Like that doesn't make sense, but then I make it make sense because I have to make it make sense because that's how my brain works. It's quite interesting. Um and. Hold on, because I'm about to channel something here. I think that's what it was. Oh, it's on the, it's on the wall. A brother in XBFF confirmation. And my brother in XBFF and an ex-boyfriend. A brother in XBFF 
and an ex-boyfriend. I saw this a while ago on, on some random post underneath a video I was watching. And I thought to myself, hmm. And I wrote it down on my wall because I was like, that was significant. It, sh it sent like shockwaves through my, um, my body. I was like, whoa, what the was that about? And then so I started to think, because at this point when I recognized this, um, I was, uh, you know, kind of in the crux of going through a lot of bullshit and there wasn't anybody around. But then I started to think a brother, an ex BFF and an ex boyfriend. And I was like, OK, so as I um, start to think about stuff. So the brother part is not is not a, well, I, my, it's not a blood brother. This is somebody that, uh, you know what? And, uh, you know, I'm, at, I'm I'm all about truth. I'm all about looking past bullshit. I pay attention to signs, synchronicities of things. And I'm not. You know, a part of my problem uh, that I've that I've dealt with, which I'm pretty sure all, a lot of us can um, identify with, is that we um, convince ourselves that when we see something, it's not that, you know. So we, you have a friend, uh, a friend that, you know, you love or, you, you know, you love and you kick it with on a, on a regular you talk to all the time. But under, uh, uh, there's an underlying uh, underlining uh, an underlying uh, bitterness and hatred and shit that a person has towards you no matter how hard they try to disguise it no matter how 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 long somebody's you know no matter how long you've known someone no matter how much you've been there for them and vice versa a person can still uh, perform the perform the, uh, the the functions or needs of a friendship yet they still underlie they hate you and you you don't recognize this until it's too late most of the time um, I won't cry for you. Yeah, they don't. They won't. They 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 pretend to be there for you, but they don't cry for you. Really, they they actually kind of uh, uh, get off on or, or 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 really really love the fact that you're going through stuff. You know, take that energy as it resonates. So we're gonna call it like it is, right? I'm not gonna say any names because it's not necessary. Because you motherfuckers know who you are. Okay. But see, like it, it. I didn't want to accept certain things because um, they made me feel um, inadequate or stupid, or um, unloved. Confirmation. That's that's. It made me feel unloved. It made me feel abandoned and alone in this world. But what did we realize is that. Whether we want to accept it or not, we're born in this world alone. Even if you're born with a twin, because both of you can't come out at the same time, because that would that would just tear some cooch up. I'm just pretty much saying that uh, you're you're brought you, you we come into this world alone on our own missions, and we will leave that way. I think. I don't know. Well, no, 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 no. That's a different conversation. We're we're stepping into a new consciousness, okay? We are out of the age of Pisces where we believed every motherfucking thing somebody told us. We are now in the age of Aquarius where the veil has been lifted and we know what we see is exactly what it is. And when we hear things, it's exactly the way you heard it. Unless you're lying to yourself and even then you're still it's still very much a fact. So they don't cry for you, they don't cry for you. No. It's tears of blood. She's holding like a big teardrop of blood. So the cat's like, see, I told you that. Well, and so we're getting to this. So there's a brother of mine that I call my brother, but he's like one of my best friends. And then there was an ex-boyfriend and there's an ex-BFF. They're all real tight. Behind the scenes, they're all real tight. They act like I don't know. One lives in New York, one lives in Atlanta, and the other one lives in Seattle or did live in Seattle. I heard last time I heard they moved to DC closer to where my ex was living. Either way it goes, these three people, um, I was really kind of shocked about the brother part because we were really tight for years, but there was always an underlying kind of thing uh, that was there. And you know, there was a conversation that I started to get um, from him a lot about narcissism and I and I and, and, and I, they, they were shots at me. And so what I did instead of withdrawing from the friendship or checking the motherfucker, or, or just bring to the forefront like, is that what you're trying to say about me? No, I, what I did is I convinced myself they can't, they're not talking about me because I ain't no narcissist. You know, you feel you get where I'm coming from. And I'll tell you what, a lot of times too, when um, a person is uh, sitting talks about somebody being a narcissist, hey, that person narcissist, they're actually the narcissist. These are people that actually get upset when things do not go their way and project their disappointment in themselves. 
that they couldn't control the situation. And then they project that onto other people to say, well, they're, they must be a narcissist because they don't see things my way. Well, contraire, mon frere, that makes you a motherfucking narcissist, okay? Take the energy as it resonates. Because now it's at the point now where I realize after everything that I've gone through up until this moment that these people that should have been there for me weren't there for me. Didn't try to help me. Didn't try to offer me a solution. Didn't come to my aid like I would have came to theirs if I could, you know. I always try to do what I could for people. Uh, so that's a conversation. I don't, you know, that's whatever. But so now it's just kind of like, well, I'm alone now. Anyways, who gives a fuck? And that's just the way I look at things. I don't really give a damn how anybody feels about whatever I say. I'm not naming no names, but you know, if, if a hit dog will holler, if it rubs you the wrong way, then bitch get some lotion. Cause it's about to be a bumpy motherfucking ride. Cause I'm telling you this, it is, it has been so satisfying for me to be without these energies. My life feels lighter. I, I feel differently about my goals in life. I feel differently about what kind of love I can attract because what I had here is the brother, a brother, an ex and an ex boy, an ex BFF and an ex boyfriend who all came together, who also were, see, and this is the weird part about the things that happened to me. There were all these different groups of people that come together for one reason or another to, to bring me down because they all, uh, at the end of the day, are some fucking narcs. Point blank, period. I'm not calling everybody a narc. I'm just calling them because that's some evil, demonic, narcissistic bullshit. But as I'm laying in bed, I'm thinking, so that's why this, you know, because I've been getting a lot of, I pick up on the pick up on the cues, Canada, motherfucking Hawaii, motherfucking Texas, motherfucking Florida, motherfucking Iowa, uh, New York, all these different places where all these different people that have all these undercover kind of um, issues with me are stemming from. And Georgia, I think I said Georgia, I'm saying it again. Yeah, that's what happened. Because I kept wondering, like, why is this nigga going to to Canada and, and, and fucking Hawaii all the time? But then when I put two and two together and I started connecting some dots, I see why. There was a lot of spell work being done in these places. Uh, he called me one night and I just never forget. It was, it was, he was, he, it was some type of, I'm telling you, it was magic. A spell. A motherfucker was sending me dark magic on the phone. And I felt, I felt really kind of weirded out about it. And I hung up the phone and... I didn't even, I don't think I said anything about, it was just kind of weird because it was very evil. It was something very evil. But then when you take a step back and you take a look at your, the people that, that, that you're around, you will see the evil in them. They don't like, they don't like to see you shine. They don't. And so, um, I remember one time I, I when I started my podcast, uh, when I tried to start this podcast, I had my brother who was like my, he's not my brother, but he was like my brother. And then I had, um, our best friend that we had in common, you know, somebody I had been friends with for a very long time, one of my secret haters. Um, and I asked him and I said, can you know, whatever happens, I just, what I need you to do is just go along with, you know, uh, don't, don't try to change anything. Just, you know, just go with the flow. Allow me to control this for him because I'm just trying to do this. They couldn't even do it. I got, I should find a recording upload. I cussed that bitch, one of them bitches the fuck out and hung, and hung up on the other one because they sat there and were texting each other while I was doing this podcast. They were making fun of shit. They were, they were just doing little cutty shit. And ever since that moment, our relationship had kind of, I distanced myself from that because overall what I realized is that these people, they were, they were attacking me. And these are people that I love. Even this, um, the nice, the, 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 the ex, the ex BFF, that bastard, that bitch ass nigga. You know, I know what he says about me. I know he, he, he has a lot to do with a lot of these things. His brother-in-law was working at the rental office. Duh. You know, but they, but, but what happens is that they don't tell the whole story. They don't tell, they don't tell the, they don't tell the fact that, that it's, it's not because I'm a narcissist or that I, I, I'm pretty sure my brother, there was somebody very much interested in me that my brother obviously knew. I think my brother might've been interested in the person cause he, you know, he liked dudes too. So I think he might've been interested in somebody who then said, well, who's that? Who, who do you, who, like, I don't know if it was on Facebook or they showed him a picture and they was like, well, who is that? Oh, he a hoe. He, he a drunk. He uses drugs. He blah, blah, blah. I, I can hear it. I can hear the conversation. I can hear it. It's not hurtful, a little bit. I'll be honest. It's 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 a little hurtful, but at the same time, I'm very grateful that I can hear it because now I understand the complexities of, of people and their bullshit. So I get the fuck away from it and make my life simple. The complexities of their bullshit to move away to make my life simpler. Okay? We'll put some energy on this shit because I think it's fucking disgusting. Okay? And that's why everybody is... These people are miserable. These people are sad, miserable people who only care about what life serves them. 
And regardless of whether or not it's their fault, could it be their parents' fault, could it be their experiences in life, everybody has an opportunity to change, especially when they come into uh, contact with somebody who's an earth angel, who's a light worker, who's really all about love and light. Not to say, and, 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 and so we can correct this again, people that are of love and light are not without their challenges in life. It's the way that we get through them that, that, that justifies our purpose. You feel me? Take that energy as it resonates, okay? So I won't cry for you. These these energies, they can call me crazy all motherfucking day long. I thought about that shit earlier. Call me crazy. Call me whatever you want to call me. It doesn't. It, I can. You know what? I've had people call me crazy. I've had people call me an addict. I've had people call me some things I'm not gonna repeat because that shit ain't true. But I've been. I've been felt like I've gone crazy. I've been. Um, in a very kind of lackluster life. I've been ha at places where I wasn't motivated. I've never been a loose ass bitch that I always have to be. Was I a flirt? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Then who's who's younger? Who what what kind of person is younger and good looking and got a lot of attention that does not explore that? Okay. It's the people that don't get that attention that then start talking shit. Let's just call it what it is. You feel me? Or people that are jealous because you have a very particular lifestyle that they can't live. Do whatever kind of constraints life has given them. The vices, the uh, not the vices, but the shackles and bondage of religion, family expectations, uh, shame. That doesn't belong to anybody, but they project that shit onto people, good people, because they're jealous. And I hate to say that about people because it does kind of give the idea that I think I'm better. No, they think you're better, Collector. They think I'm better. There are things about me that they wish that they had. And instead of admiring those things and complimenting a person or a friend or a family member, these people want to take shit from you. Okay, that's just fucking, that's fucking whack as fucking, it's ridiculous. Oh, weak ass bitches. And I said what I said. I don't, I don't, I don't care about, I don't care about how it makes anybody feel because I care about how I feel. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way you should look at stuff. I care about how I feel. If I don't feel, if I, if I feel like shit, then how the hell am I going to help somebody else feel better? Okay. Take that energy as it resonates. You fucking Narmix watching the channel. You hoes sit around all night, got all your little stupid ass friends believing that I'm the motherfucking narc when it's y'all. I don't understand how anybody can sit around somebody who's constantly bashing and talking badly about people and then think that that person has your best interest at heart. They fucking don't because the secrets are out, bitch. But you can't ruin me. And I'm not disappointed. No, I'm going to continue to work. I'm going to continue to create. Okay? And y'all motherfuckers are going to be very upset about that. This is pleasure in reverse. You guys are highly upset and, 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 and relish and take baths and fucking displeasure because a motherfucker's living their life trying to do things outside of the norm. And then what do you guys do? You sit around and talk shit about it, but then want to go, I'll be all up in somebody else's ass that does the same fucking thing. Stupid ass bitches. That's what I heard. Yeah, but I took a leap. I took a leap to wake up, to be enlightened, okay? Walk to the beat of my own tune, bitch, okay? And you guys feel some type of injustice behind that. That's because y'all ain't got shit else better to do with y'all's time. And I'm sorry to say it like that, but that's the truth. We getting too old for this shit. Now, motherfuckers is taking money from family members, um, you know, to, to, to monitor me, to, 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 to report my comings and goings, to be a part of my demise. And it's disgusting. And so, like, the more I keep thinking about it, yeah, I do have a time where I do have moments where I'm like, when I think about my family and shit, like, you know, they, these, they, they some of these motherfuckers are going to prison for a very long time. They old as hell. Do I? And I'd I be like, damn, that's fucked up. But no, it's not. It's, that's what y'all get. Okay? Because when the older we get, we're supposed to know better. That's what they always teach us. But then, they, you know, people that do that want to, uh, you know, force things into our brain about how family is supposed to be, what friendship is like, what obligations, family, love, respect, mutual respect is supposed to be. All they do is turn around and they renege on the situation and then look at you like you crazy when you call the shit out. Nah, bitch, you crazy. And take the energy that's written. I don't give a fuck who you are. Mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin, niece, niece or nephew. It don't matter. Y'all living in some very wicked, ugly, nasty, karmic -y ways. And I don't want to have no parts of that shit. And I don't. But now y'all got to deal with that shit. Who crazy now? You feel me? A motherfucker can be crazy all damn day, but that doesn't take away from the fact that y'all are still evil. It doesn't take away from the fact that you guys did something wrong. I could, I could be schizophrenic all motherfucking day long, but that still doesn't change what y'all have done. Okay? Take that energy out right now. Let's get what, what do you what do you want these Narmix to know? So yeah, the brother, the ex, and the ex BFF, they all getting it. They all came together to 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 to, uh, to bring me down a peg, as if I didn't already have enough people coming against me. The people that probably were supposed to have my back bailed on me because they were some jealous, hateful ass bitches. Fuck out of here with that shit. Okay. 
So whatever happens to you, bitches, happens to you. But I don't even need to pull no more cards on it. Yeah, because y'all y'all, y'all was too busy playing checkers and I was playing chess with my own life. I was trying to master myself, not master your fucking games. That's why it was so easy for me to do. Okay? Judgment goes in my favor. I make good judgment calls for my life purpose, not to ruin your life purpose. If anything, I came along to enhance your shit. Fucking scabs. Stop hacking. Stop doing debaucherous, perverted, highly illegal things sometimes. I'm pretty sure you see a couple of you motherfuckers are pervs. Okay? Yeah, you don't want nobody to tell that shit, huh? You don't want nobody you don't want nobody to see the truth and clarity behind your lies. You don't want nobody talking about that shit the way y'all keep negatively framing shit or putting things in people's pathways so they can't walk away from them, like drugs and alcohol, uh, smear campaigns and shit. You know, back in the day, this shit would have had me crying and I would have been hurt and immobilized, but I'm better than that now. I'm better than y'all now, and that's the truth. Anybody, we ain't nobody better than somebody. In some circumstances, yes, the fuck we are. I don't give a fuck what anybody says because their unhealed actions, them being unhealed, them they're mad because they're not stars, fallen stars or whatever. Their unhealed, their unhealed energy is leading their motherfucking asses right to prison, and that is the end of that motherfucking cycle. You feel me? Take that energy as it resonates. So I jumped on to say, you know, I I didn't, I I still don't have no no man. Let me let me take that back. I do got a problem with you weak ass motherfuckers. I do. It doesn't stop me from moving forward. I have a problem with you all. And you know what I do when I have a problem with something? I either solve it or forget about it and walk away. I'm solving it and I'm walking away. What y'all did to me was highly, highly unacceptable in the eyes of the most high. Okay? But y'all got them points for him downstairs. Certainly do. I hope you're happy down there. Ain't no fucking nice water down there. Ain't no peace down there. You're fucking in purgatory or limbo or whatever the hell. I don't know because I'm not going. But you are. All that spell work y'all was doing, all these, all, all this smear campaigns, all that gossip. Why would you try to block a love, uh, somebody come to bring me a love offer or somebody that wants to work with me? Y'all supposed to promote me, not demote me, but y'all are them kind of demoting ass bitches because y'all live a very demotuous lifestyle. No matter how high up you guys go, you guys seem to go further down the rabbit hole of bullshit and hateful, evil ass, envious, jealousy. That's all y'all do is sit around and cackle like a bunch of bitches. Hate on people to make yourselves feel better, to make your lives more meaningful. And that's why your lives have no meaning now, because you gave it all up to make somebody else's life miserable and meaningless. And I'm not the only person that you people have done this to. And I know that for a fact. That's why y'all are all miserable as fuck alone. Even if you're in a relationship, you're still alone. Your partner is ready to check out and find somebody like me or the next light worker because they're tired of being around you energy fucking vampires. You stupid ass bitches. And anybody doesn't like what I'm saying, kiss my ass, okay? I don't. I, I am not. A, I am a very healed individual. It takes a very healed individual with a lot of courage and strength and wisdom and foresight to stand up and say the fucking truth about people in their lives that try to ruin them. I'm not going for that shit no more. So all you bitches and stay the fuck far away from me, whether it's Seattle, New York, D.C., Atlanta, okay, Texas, Florida, wherever, Minnesota. It doesn't. Chicago. It doesn't matter. Find somebody else to be uh, to siphon energy off of. As a matter of fact, don't. Go get healed. Drink some motherfucking holy water, bitch. Guide it with love and light. I just had to jump on and say that because I think I think some I think these people have it. Well, I don't know because they're probably already caught up. They're probably hoping I, that, 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 that that they can somehow you know change change the whole situation. No, fuck that. I, I'm, I'm a see. I've always known. You're hating ass bitches. You're hateful. You're hateful because you can't be you. You no matter how hard you try, you don't want you want to. You keep trying to be somebody else but yourself. And when you have to sit with yourself, that's those are the moments that you really hate because then you have to really think about who the fuck you really are. You feel me? In the in the most disgusting, the most disgusting, um, uh, 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 most uh, disrespectful part about it is that I took, I gave you, I, I loved you, I loved you all freely unconditionally and admired things about you. You would guys, I wouldn't have considered you my best friends and I would damn sure wouldn't have laid up with you if I didn't love you. But you took that for granted for some money or because you were jealous or because you don't know how to forgive. But karma eating that ass up and y'all conscious eating that ass up too if you even still have one. So I hope y'all like y'all brand new cars, your brand new house, your brand new clothes, your 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 your, your fancy trips that y'all was taking, and never once even invited a nigga. I mean, I could have no. It, it, 
Do you have the money to go to Wayne? I'm going to invite you if you got the money to go. No, no, bitch, you didn't call me. But y'all motherfuckers is traveling in and out of town together. I already know the deal. So I hope you enjoyed it because y'all about to take a real serious trip. You're probably about to lose everything. That's blood money that you took. That's some spiritually, dis, dis, like a very low vibrational uh, demonic energy that spiritually defiles everything that I stand for. And that's why you hoes is going down, okay? And I mean taking Dwayne's elevator down. You don't have to like what I say, but it's the truth. That's the one thing that's kept me alive and will continue to do the same for me in the future, okay? I'm your Uncle 7-9, the spiritual savage, okay? Now I can go to sleep. I don't know. I just drink some coffee. <laughs> but any given event, I just had to jump on and say that because I mean what the fuck I say in collective. Do not allow do not allow your love that you have for people blind you to the things that they're doing. Okay? Because people, I, this, this is the, the one thing that bothers me is people don't make it out. A lot of times people don't make it out of what these people put us through. They either hurt themselves, take themselves out, end up in jail or prison or strung out on drugs where people forget about them. And all they do is sit around and laugh and relish and get nuts and bust nuts and have orgasms off of the pain and suffering that we, uh, that we, that we have to endure with, by, their, by their hands. That's what I'm saying. It's frustrating as fuck. Because now all I want to do is put my hands and feet all over you raggedy bitches. But life is going to do that to you anyways. And the most highs will slap the shit out of you when you get up in the morning and for the rest of your life. You feel me? In that order, Apple Orchard. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. Stay away from fucking knocks and jealous ass hateful bitches. Okay? Deuces. Savage.